you are clearing out your attic and you find a super beautiful clock that's made of wood. You think it might be crafted two centuries ago. How can you prove that it is some sort of antique that might be worth thousands of pounds? In the process of photosynthesis, trees absorb the element called carbon-14. Carbon-14 is a radioactive element, which means it will decay into another element after a certain amount of time. The element that carbon-14 decays into is nitrogen. But don't you worry, as long as the tree is still alive, it will continue absorbing carbon from the atmosphere to keep the amount of carbon-14 within the tree replenished, unless we cut down the tree. The timber of a fallen tree no longer photosynthesize. So the carbon-14 atoms that are already in the timber will continue to decay until there aren't any left. And there won't be any fresh carbon-14 coming in to top it back up. Scientists know the exact rate of decay of carbon-14. If I have a sample with 20 carbon atoms, it will take 5,700 years for just 10 of these atoms to decay into nitrogen. It will take another 5,700 years before another 5 of carbon atoms decay. Do you see a pattern here? Every 5,700 years, the sample halves in the number of carbon atoms. The amount of time for the radioactive sample to decay by half is known as the half-life. In the case of carbon-14, half-life is 5,700 years. The moment that a tree falls, it has a certain amount of carbon-14 inside of it. We say that there is 100% of carbon-14 within this sample. After one half-life, which is 5,700 years, 50% 50 of the original number of carbon-14 atoms remains in the sample. If another half-life goes by, then only 25% of it remains. Another half-life, 12.5% remains. Using this idea, I can work out how long ago it was that the tree was taken down. All I need to find out is how many half-lives have gone by since the tree was cut down. That adds up to be 17,100 years ago. This method of dating an object using radiation is known as carbon dating or radiocarbon dating. But you might still be wondering, how do we know how many carbon atoms there are in an object? Can we use a microscope? Nope, it's not powerful enough for us to see atoms. Can we grind down the object and investigate its chemical structure? Maybe it's not such a good idea to grind down a $6,000 antique. As the name radiocarbon dating suggests, we can try to detect the object's radiation. Carbon-14 emits beta particles. The more beta particles that this sample emits, the more carbon-14 there are within that sample for that particular time. We can point a Geiger-Muller tube at the object. The Geiger-Muller tube will detect the number of beta particles emitted over a given time. The higher this count rate is, the more carbon-14 atoms there are in the object. So now you can go to your local antique store with confidence, knowing the worth of your wooden clock. Thanks for watching till the end of this video, and if you feel like you've learned from it, be sure to subscribe.